What's up you guys, it's Dar and there's no Laura here actually, it's just me. I feel like I don't even know how to do this without her, but that's probably how I feel about every single thing in life. Um, so Laura and I were at a routine weekly doctor visit um, and you know I didn't really expect anything of it. I thought everything was gonna be normal. I was just waiting outside for Laura to come back to the car and I just, te I just texted her asking, if everything's okay and she responded no and my heart like sank immediately and she walked up to the car and as soon as she got in she said that there is a 50 50 chance that she's going to need to be induced and go into labor today and if that does happen we don't know if it would be a normal birth or if it would be a c-section so yeah, it was just like terrifying news, definitely not the kind of news that you expect when you go in for a regular doctor visit. Um, so yeah, you know, the, the optimistic in me is always just hoping for the best and I told her try not to stress. Um, so I dropped her off at the main hospital at labor and delivery and I quickly rushed home just to get all of our bags and everything in order just in case she is actually gonna go into labor tonight and deliver. Um, obviously there's like a thousand things in my mind. We've been trying to prepare for this moment as much as possible and you know obviously you never know when that moment's gonna happen uh, but I didn't think it was gonna be like this. Um, so I've got all the bags packed. Um, pretty much everything's been packed. I did kind of expect to have Laura with me when all of this happened uh, but she texted me a list of everything that she needs. Uh, most important which were her eyelashes and her eyelash glue and lots of snacks. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I have no idea what to expect. Um, you know, I, I messaged my parents right away and they like went and just started praying. My family's like super spiritual and I've obviously been praying nonstop. Um, I started a text message chat with Laura's mom and Laura's sister because I'm sure they're worried uh, but I don't want them to stress um, and I don't want them to you know have to keep texting Laura and worried about stressing her out so I opened up a line of communication with them um, and Laura seems to be in pretty good spirits. We don't know exactly what's going on right now. I'm really bad about like all the medical terminology stuff, so I'm sure Laura is gonna do an amazing job explaining everything that's going on and why she might have to be induced today, so I'm not even gonna try. Uh, but yeah, um, you know, obviously worried, like anytime there's anything like this, like I think every single person worries, but you know, I'm being as optimistic as possible, praying for the best, and I don't know, I feel like I might be bringing my baby girl home pretty soon, or might be meeting my baby girl, which just, I don't know, it, it just gives me so much excitement thinking about. I'm just gonna be waiting outside of the hospital until I find out what's gonna happen. All right, let's go. Okay, <clears throat> I just got to the hospital. Um, Here's the current state of affairs. We're at Kaiser. As you guys can see, every single person is wearing face masks. Um, I've got my face mask right here. Um, really have no idea what's gonna happen. I just talked to Laura, I just called her a little bit ago and she said that the doctors are taking blood tests right now. So yeah, she's just in a room by herself. Um, staring at white walls not knowing what's gonna happen and you know the fact that I can't be there with her really kills me inside um, but you know just because of the quarantine situation um, they're not letting anybody come into the hospital um, so you know the hope is that um, she's able to have a normal delivery and if that's the case then they will allow me to come in uh, but if she does have to have a c-section then I won't be allowed to be there at all um, I guess I'll just be waiting in the car um, you know which really kills me inside just knowing I can't be there and just thinking that you know she's gonna be scared and you know I can't be talking to her and making her feel better and calming her down um, yeah that's just the state of the world right now so you know, it's like pregnancy is so stressful as it is, but especially, you know, right now, it's so much more stressful, but all I can pray for and all that matters is healthy baby, healthy Laura. <laughs> those are 
the two things that I'm just gonna pray for. Um, Laura told me it might be a while um, before she finds out anything. Um, so she told me to stay at home, um, you know, not to wait in the car, but I was like, I just wanna be as close to you as possible. <laughs> Even if I can't be with you, at least like I know I'm close. Um, so that way, you know, if you need anything or I don't know, maybe feel my presence or something. Because um, obviously like her and Ella are my whole world and you know, I just want them to be safe. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted. Um, but yeah, I'm just tell her to take it one step at a time. Um, you know, I'm in communication with her mom and her sister. Um, so praying that everything goes well. All right, guys, so it is April 28th, and I went in for my routine doctor's appointment, um, and while I was there, um, she looked at some of my labs and was like, you're not going to like what I have to say, but I'm going to send you over to the main hospital. I want you to go to labor and delivery um, and have some more tests and labs done because um, my blood pressure was a little bit higher than normal and I was having um, my protein level was higher than normal as well um, and so I they're checking to see if I have something called preeclampsia um, which you know the extra protein could affect my kidneys and as you guys know I've already had a kidney infection um, so because I'm at full term already um, they sent me here so I've been here for about two hours um, I had to mentally prepare myself because when I first came here I was super freaked out all my levels were super high um, because as you know there's no guest allowed um, so Dar's waiting outside I had to come in by myself um, and so my doctor told me there's a 50 50 chance that I may have to get induced um, which means that they will start the process of me contracting to go into labor. <sighs> Trying to breathe. Like I said, I had two hours to mentally calm down because I've been a mess. Um, but I texted Dar uh, and I was like, you should go get our hospital bags and stuff just in case. So he ran home to get that. I really wish he was here with me just so I could have someone in here I'm all by myself right now um, so yeah just waiting on test results guys so a lot has happened in the past 24 hours it is now a day later um, and I have Laura right yes. next to me who is in <sighs> so much pain so what was our last update so last update was me waiting for you outside to find out what was gonna happen okay so Basically, um, they allowed me to go home because my test kept coming back so irregular um, and they gave me a blood pressure machine and a gallon to collect my urine for 24 hours and then today is the 24 hours since then so they're going to recheck all my labs and stuff um, and if it turns out that I do have preeclampsia then they're going to induce me but yesterday um, it's now 20 going on 27 hours I've been contracting nonstop for the past um, for 10 minutes like straight consistent and it started off okay and I was like okay you know this is easy I'm gonna get through this and then they just started getting more extreme and worse and I literally haven't slept at all like not even one minute um, I was in the bathtub for six hours because it was so painful in the bath it helped relieve some of the pain um, so I'm back at the hospital and we're about to see what's gonna happen hopefully my blood pressure isn't too high um, and I'm dilated so that way I can go ahead and give birth <laughs> because I'm so uncomfortable yeah, Laura is probably the toughest person that I know by far, yeah. like a lot more tougher than me. And I have never seen her in this much pain. Um, yeah, it's so hard to watch like what she's going through and not being able to help her at all. But she's been doing such an amazing job. Um, she won't even like take Benadryl or Tylenol or anything. I'm so proud of this girl. I don't know how you guys do it. Like honestly, I, I broke down yesterday. It was one of the hardest days of my life and a contraction's coming on and I'm about to cry. So I'm gonna go to the hospital, see what they say. I wish you could come with me right now. <laughs> I know. Whew. 
having a car, um, praying so, for you. Yeah, if I getting induced, guys, or if um, my contractions are five minutes apart, that means I'm going into labor. And if they um, check me into a room and see that I'm able to give birth vaginally, then the door is allowed in. If I have to get a C-section, he's not allowed in. So praying, praying, praying <laughs> that it's vaginally. But hopefully the next time we update you guys, I am in labor. <laughs> Ella's gonna be here because I don't know how long how much more I can handle. <laughs> love you, baby. I love you so much. All right, should I say prayer? Yeah. All right, you guys, so Laura updated me over the phone. Um, she is actually three centimeters dilated, um, just shy of the five, which means that she'll be going into labor. They gave her the option of staying and waiting at the hospital or going home. Uh, she didn't want to stay at the hospital, so I'm going to be taking her home, but I could be bringing her right back to the hospital at any moment. She's so, so close. I'm so excited and so scared. All I'm praying for, healthy baby, healthy Laura. Healthy baby, healthy Laura. That is all I care about. Um, she did take some morphine, so I'm like really hoping this girl gets some sleep because she's not slept at all. I, I cannot imagine what she's going through. Um, so I really hope she gets some rest and soon we'll be back here and the next time we leave we'll be leaving with our baby girl which i'm like so so excited about all right let me get this girl home hi baby hi sweetheart you doing okay like so you're feeling minutes. good? <laughs> Fine. Thank you so much, by the way. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Come on in, baby girl. I love you so much. Morphine's kicking in. I'm so happy you're going to be able to rest. I love you so much. And I love you, Ella Rose. Okay, whatever you want, baby, I'm gonna get you. You just name it, and I'm gonna have it for you. I'll have three for you. <laughs> so how's your appointment go? How's our baby? Very okay, good. Ella is measuring in the 51 percentile now, you guys. Before she was in the 30, now she's 51 percent. Doctor says she's gonna be between 6.3 and 7 pounds, which is like the most ideal. So she's literally just perfect. Like her mom. Uh, no. I'm so happy you're getting some rest, baby. You have no idea so how much guys, this makes me when happy. When they give you morphine, they can't give then you. Then you sound like this. Oh, how do I sound? <laughs> you sound cute. Oh my gosh, cut if I sound weird. <laughs> um, they can't give you like the highest dosage because you still need to fill your contractions so that way you can measure them out. So right now I'm consistent with seven still, probably for the past five hours. Um, once you get to five or under, then that means girlfriend's about to be here. Who's girlfriend? Back to the hospital. Are you talking about a baby? Don't call her girlfriend. Why? She's my girlfriend. She's our QT. Okay, but until then, I need to eat and sleep. And eat and sleep. Sounds like a pretty good life. Babe, do they give you any extra morphine? Can you give me some? They gave me a shot in my butt. Was it a girl or a guy nurse? It was a girl. Better be She's a girl. like, bend over. All right, you guys, we are back home. Um, I think the morphine has just started to wear off. Um, so Laura got a little bit of rest, um, only for a couple of hours. Um, she's starting to have more frequent contractions. Um, I think they're happening every five to six minutes or so. Yeah, so we've been home for six hours. I got to sleep for almost three hours, and then the contractions started coming again. Um, and they said once the contractions are five minutes apart for one minute long for a total of an hour to go in, and um, so far my contractions have been 90% to five minutes. A couple have been six minutes, so we're getting super close. Um, but I think we're gonna head in a little early because uh, this pain is just so painful. And I'm really trying my best to like walk or be active versus laying down because oh, it's just like a deep shooting pain. 
Mine's too still, it hurts worse. <laughs> And these contractions are still with some morphine and Benadryl in her system. Um, so like yesterday was, I don't know, probably like twice as worse as this. So Laura's just been in so much pain, no sleep. I don't know, I just feel so bad, but I think we're almost there. Uh, we'll probably head to the hospital, I don't know. I admit it now. It's so hard, like they tell you, you know, practice your breathing, but when the contractions come, it's just nothing prepares you for it. Like, I read all of these vlogs and looked at videos, and I was just like, oh, it's gonna be easy. And by far, this is literally the hardest experience of my life. Like, I have now been contracting for. 36 hours? Since 6 a.m. yesterday, right? Yeah. And it's like 6, yeah, 36 hours. 36 hours nonstop. <laughs> Which. Oh and you didn't sleep a minute last night. <sighs> I haven't slept, I haven't eaten. I just feel like I'm just like a zombie who is like getting shot with pain every couple minutes. And I'm just praying really hard that when it's time to go into, you know, like getting ready to push Ella, that it's a lot easier than this. Because I honestly don't know how I'm going to handle it. Like, I just keep thinking that she's going to be here. I'm doing this for her. <sighs> All right, you guys, we are on the way to the hospital, praying that the, this is the last time we leave the house as two, and we come back as three. All right. Here you go, baby. Can we ask for a wheelchair? Okay. I love you. Okay, I love you so yeah. much. I'll be praying for you this whole time, okay? I can't go inside, uh, so I have no idea what's gonna happen. I just have to wait here and um, yeah, see what the text says. Just continue to pray for her that everything goes okay. Um, hopefully I can go inside, uh, but yeah. Praying for baby Ella, praying for Laura. Healthy baby, healthy Laura. All right, you guys, so they are admitting me. I just got tested for COVID. Basically, they put a swab down your throat and then up your nose. Um, and then I got an IV, some blood drawn, and the baby's connected to the monitor. You'll see when it goes high like that, that means on the screen, I, don't, I can't point, I don't know. That means contractions are coming at five minutes and they are extremely painful you guys um i'm not able to get epidural until they um they put me in my room and then that's when dar will be able to come up too all right you guys it's felt like the longest hour of my life um i mean i'm sure nothing in comparison to what laura's going through but i just got a text message saying that she's been admitted um so i'm so excited and even better news she said they're gonna let me in so everything's looking good oh i am so excited i could be like hours away from holding my baby girl and I'm gonna be there to support Laura. You know, that's that's literally all I could ask for. It's all I've been praying for, so. All right, I'm going inside. Okay, I am on my way to the labor and delivery on the fourth floor. Okay. 
Okay, so once we numb you, we put the needle in. Once the needle's in the right space, we leave an epidural catheter through that catheter to get medication throughout the liver. Okay. okay. Risks of an epidural less than 1% chance of a headache. If you do get a headache later on, we know how to treat it. Infection, nerve damage, paralysis, bleeding very rapidly. Still want the epidural? Yeah. Okay. Drop your shoulders and really push out, okay? From the bottom. Drop these. Remember that's the numbing. Okay, very okay. important. Keep really still, you're doing great. You're doing great, baby. Okay. You're doing great. Just think, you're not going to have pain nice after this. Nice big breath, in and out. Yeah, almost there, baby. Nice big breath. Just trying to find a space that's open. You're doing great, sweetheart. Just hang in there. You're okay. Don't move, we're done. Hold that. Alright? Just about there. Wasn't too bad, right? How bad were your contractions in Octa 10? Uh, 10. I'm right now. Okay, so okay. probably take 15 to 20 minutes before you're okay? You're doing so good, sweetheart. You're just about there. Okay, so this is my bed right here, where I'm going to be sleeping. And Laura finally fell asleep. She hasn't slept in days. I can't tell you how happy it makes me that Laura's finally getting some sleep. This is the best feeling ever. Yeah, so if, if, if you're able to tolerate it, it feels okay, then you don't need to, but you can always press the button of it. If it even during labor? labor? Yeah, even during labor, likely. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely we recommend not doing it right before you start pushing, just so you can okay. know what it's yeah. like. Okay. Uh, but yes, it's always a possibility. Okay. Awesome. Um, so it kind of gives that, that open to you, but honestly, I feel like your epidural is perfect. You can kind of move your legs, but it's taking care of this. Yeah, I can move my legs and my toes. Getting the shivers. Uh, I don't know. I know it's normal with the epidural, the labor, but I know it's really uncomfortable and also just are trying to have a conversation in my teeth. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well, I feel good today. I'm oh, today might be the day. It is gonna be the today. Today's gonna be the day, May 1st. That's gonna be your birthday, Ella. <laughs> And Laura's water is now broken. That's been an update. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is 48 hours of you. Uh -huh. So I started contracting on Tuesday at 6 a.m. It is now, wait, is it Thursday or Friday? <laughs> I don't know. I have well, no idea. Been, what is it? 2020 or is it 2021? No, I've been contracting since Wednesday at 6 a.m. and it is now Friday at 6 a.m. So officially for 48 hours. But thank goodness that um, I got admitted yesterday because the epidural, you guys, has been my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel good right now. I don't feel any pain. I feel a, a little bit like a tiny yeah, bit of pressure, but I don't feel pain. So that's good. She's got um, this little button that she can press. Where is it? Oh, to you. get like a little extra, extra yeah. shot. I have a remote. I have a button. I have a bell for dark. <laughs> a massage. You're I'm living life pretty right good right now. Awesome. Okay, it is about 8.30, 9 a.m. the next morning. This is 51 hours. <laughs> You're 51 hours? Since you first started contracting and now we are checking how far along Laura is. So last update was she was seven centimeters. You're doing so good, baby. I'm so proud of you. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Looks yeah. like you just oh, ate, girl. Uh, it's good straps. She's almost complete, actually. Yeah. What? Oh my god. Okay. Let me know if it's too much. I 
It's doing great, baby. So there's there's a little bit of cervix on both sides, so I feel like eight. Okay. Oh. So your cervix is really thin, so it almost feels like it's all the way okay. dilated. There's just a little bit on each side. So you know, a little bit longer. Awesome job. Awesome job. Awesome job. Even if it comes right back, at least it's He's having one now. Just so a peak. Breathe, darling, nice, slow breaths. Lots of air for little Ella Rose. Sweet girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just always get the shivers. Yeah. Shivers, contraction, mm -hmm. and she's yeah. checking me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we roll here at the Red Dove, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're doing great, sweetheart. No, but just a good stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome job. Like it, it helps. Where do we need her to get to? Ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. okay. And she's at an eight. She's at an eight. Oh my yeah. god. Very good. Well, you're always a ten in my eyes, baby. <laughs> Especially with those lashes. Stop. She, li <laughs> she likes when you compliment her lashes. I love it. Her sister told me. You are hilarious. Okay. A little update. Um. So. Every time, they have to keep rotating me, and every time they put me on my left hand side, Ella's heart rate drops, and for whatever reason, she's just not liking this side, so they put this oxygen mask on me to help um, me give Ella some oxygen, so we're hoping it works. If not, then um, they're going to enter a catheter in me um, and fill it with water to kind of help lift her a little bit, because um, I think she might be on the... Um, umbilical cord so we're trying this first to see how it works um and then sh the nurse just left she says she's going to get everything set up for labor so we're really excited. yeah the last doctor said we're probably a few hours away and then the hardest part starts mm -hmm. which is pushing that baby out how many hours has it been you do the math. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hours. You're like 50. Yeah, four? it's been uh -huh. 50, yeah, yeah, 52 hours. 52 hours. But when you're out of here, I'm gonna get you whatever you yeah. want to eat. I'm oh. starving. <laughs> uh, but I just want to meet Ella already. Um, mm. and then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is almost that time. Um, we it's just a, had a practice push, you guys, and that Lord, was it's so good. So hard. <laughs> She did amazing. Um, Over nine months, and now you've only got like another hour or so to go. So we're gonna do a quick prayer. Um, the doctor just said that, um, I don't, I'm like getting nervous and giddy, like I'm so excited, but the doctor just said that they felt Ella's head um, during this really practice low, push. She's so really low. It doesn't take that many pushes. I'm gonna try my best. So let's do a prayer, baby. I love you so much. I love you too. Thank you, God, for all of the blessings that you've given us. You've seriously blessed us with more than we even deserve, more than we could ever ask for. We're so thankful for all of your blessings. Please, God, protect Laura during this time. She's going through so much pain. Just help her being strong, help her stay healthy and have a safe delivery. And please make sure that our baby Ella Rose comes into this world and is so healthy and doesn't have any problems at all. We can't wait to meet her. We know very soon she'll be on Laura's chest. Laura will be holding her baby for the first time. I'll be holding our baby. Please, God, watch over us. Thank you so much for all of the blessings that you give us. We appreciate you so much. Yeah, anything you want to add, baby? I'm just so emotional. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm scared. I'm ready. <laughs> healthy baby, healthy Laura. That's all we're praying for. Thank you, God, for all of the blessings. Amen. She okay, said she could see the head. Okay. Let us just lead your legs back. Okay, just okay. grab you just my upper them. body. Yeah, and just relax your legs and just really push like you're trying to. Okay. Okay. Got it. Push like I can feel to you move. like tensing <laughs> your legs up, and so I want you to just relax your legs. Okay. okay. How I'm close? Trying to, my ribs just hurt so bad. How close is her head? Like very close. It's very close. Laura's doing so good. I'm so proud of her, especially this last round, baby. You did so well. The nurse is saying a couple more pushes like that and your baby girl is gonna be laying on your chest. Her hair is sticking out, her little ponytail. It's like this right here, sticking out. This is your vagina, this is her hair. 
<laughs> you did so good this last round, baby. That was amazing. One or two more like that, and I bet she's gonna be here. Okay, it's now 2 p.m. Laura's been working so hard and pushing so hard. She's doing so good. It's 1.35. It's 1.35. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're doing so good, baby. So proud of you. Mm. It's been almost 60 hours since you had your first contraction. One more, one more, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, so close. Come on, you got this, baby. Come on, one more. Push, 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 push. Oh, nice. So good. So good. But you're doing great, okay? You're doing so good, baby. You are, I'm telling you, I promise you. So proud of you. Much longer I could do it. It's not yeah. going to be long, I promise. It's not going to be long. You're right there, baby. We just have You're to get, right there. Like, her head is like halfway there okay. with the pelvic bone. We just have to get the top of her head right under, and then that's it, okay? That's and we're right. almost there. We're so close, baby. Yeah, we're almost there, baby love. You got this. You're Nine months. Good. Now you got the final stretch. Final, yes, final stretch, are. baby. This is really the final stretch. All right, everyone. Okay, so, so close. The doctors just said you're about to meet your baby girl. You're doing so good, baby. Okay. You got this, baby. You got this. I'm trying. You got this, baby. You got this. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, baby's coming. Baby's coming. You're doing so good, baby. I can't. No strength. Okay, here we go, Snookies. You're so close. Okay. Does it help when I lift her up like that, or is it okay without? You're doing so the last amazing. Day, you feel like we call it a ring of fire. So lots of burning because her head is right she there. Okay. <laughs> so she likes to know what's gonna happen. So it's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Why is there so many people in here? Remember, I told you I was gonna have the NICU team here so that they can focus on the baby if I need them, and I can concentrate on you. Okay. Remember? You're okay, baby. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, We're all here just to support you. We're all here. You're doing awesome. I know. It's okay. Relax You're your doing legs. so Relax good. Your legs. You got this, yeah. baby. You got this. Come on, baby. Let's back. All right. Hold both her legs down. Okay. Deep breath. Do the same thing. All right. Ready? Deep breath. Ready to meet her? Just like we did right before, okay? Okay. Deep breath. All right. And go, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice, baby. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Deep breath. You're at the final stretch, baby. You got this. Come on. You got this, sweetheart. You got this, baby. You're just about there. Ella's coming, baby. Ella's coming. Okay, you got this. You got this, baby. Come on, baby. You got this. 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 Come on, baby. Go, 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 go. That was really good, baby. That was so good. Okay, here you go. You got this. You got this, baby. You got this. Come on, push, 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 baby. You got this. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Come on. Nice, nice. Deep breath. Come on, baby. Push, 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 push. Come on, baby. Push. You got this, sweetheart. You got this. You got this. You got this. Come on. Okay, one more good one. Go 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 push 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 you got this baby come on you got this Oh my gosh Sorry Oh my gosh don't say sorry you're doing so good baby You're so good it's your very first time Yeah so proud of you. Oh, 
Push, 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 baby, push. You're doing so good. Come on, give it what you got. There you go, baby. Come on, push it. Push, 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 push. Great. Nice. So close. No, no, you don't have to say sorry, baby. You're doing so good. We're all so proud of you. No, baby. It's okay. Everyone's so proud of you. There's no camp. Everyone's so yeah. proud of you, baby. You're doing great. Everyone's yeah. just thinking how proud they are of you right now, okay? We're all so proud of, of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell them to get out earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to touch her head? You can feel the top of her head if you want. I don't want to hurt her. Okay, we are FaceTiming Laura's sister and her mom. And there she Almost is. Almost there. <laughs> She's no, almost no, out. Coming, okay. okay. Alright. Deep breath. Okay. All right. You got this, baby girl. Push, push, push. Push, baby. Push, 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 push. You got this, baby. You got this. You got this. You're doing so good, baby. So good. Push, 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 push. Oh my gosh, you're doing so good, baby. So good. You're doing so good, baby. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. That's okay. There's your sister. Ready? Again. Push, 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 push. Oh, come on, baby. You got this. You got this. You got this. Push, 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 push. Push, baby. Push. You got this. You got this. You're so close. Nice. Okay. Okay. This might be the one, baby. This might be the one. This might be the one. This might be the one, baby. Bring Ella out. Bring Ella. Come on. You got this. Oh my gosh. She's coming, baby. Push, push, push. Push. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Blessing, okay, and your blessing is coming, okay? You got this. It's all gonna be worth it, I promise yes. you. When you see your beautiful baby girl, you're doing such a oh, great dear. job. Keep it up. Relief is coming. Okay. Okay, you got your mom and your sister now. Okay, they're both with you. Everyone's praying for you. Your mom, your sister, God is with you right now. This could be the final push. All right, bring yeah. you ready? Back. Here we go, darling. Okay, right. this could be the final one. Push, 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 Okay, okay, you got this, baby, you got this. And push. Okay, come on, come on, you got this, baby, you got this. Come on, push, 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 baby, push, 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 baby, you got this. Okay, nice, nice, baby, just about there. Okay, last push, last push, last push, give it everything you got, baby. Push, 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 push. Okay, breathe, breathe, okay. You are amazing. Say hello, it's mom. And sister. You're so close, baby. You're so close. You're doing so amazing, baby. Everyone's so proud of you. This could be the last push until you get to meet your baby girl. You're doing so good, baby. So good. It hurts. Once she's here, you're gonna forget all the Okay. 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 This might be it, baby. This might be it. Like that. Relax your legs. There you go. You got this, baby. You got this. You got this, baby. Come on, push, 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 push. You're doing so good. So good, baby. So good. You got this. Nice job, baby. Nice job. She's just right there, okay? Okay, come on. Push, 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 push. You got this, baby. You got this. 
You got this, baby. You're cute. You can't get so close. You're so close. Deep breath and go. Go, 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 Okay, we're praying, baby. We're praying, please, God, please, God, bring Ella into this world nice and safe and healthy. Make sure Laura stays safe and healthy. She's at the very end. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Please protect our baby. Please have her have a very long and healthy and successful life, baby. We love our baby girl so much, God. Please protect over her. Please keep her safe. You're so close, baby. You're doing so amazing. God's here with you, okay? He's watching over you right now. God's protecting you, baby. Ella's coming. Ella's coming, baby. God's with you right now, sweetheart, making sure that Ella's safe, okay? I love you so much. You're just about there. You're at the very, very end, baby. So proud of you. So, so proud of you, baby. I love you so much. Push, baby. This could be the very last one. Ella's getting excited. Push, 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 baby, push, push. This is it, baby. This is it. This is it. This is it. Oh my gosh, she's coming, baby. She's coming, she's coming. Push, 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 push. Awesome. Push, 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 Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You did so amazing, baby. We are so proud of you. We are so proud of you. So proud of you, baby. You did so good. So good. So good. Okay. <laughs> we'll FaceTime you in just a little bit, okay? All right. We love you guys. Bye. Hi, baby. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hi, baby. Oh. Who gets to say it's too soft <laughs> to be falling? Oh, look at her little arm. She stuck out. <laughs> oh, oh. I love her so much. Oh, hi, Ella. Can you say hi? <laughs> She's so little, oh you guys. She really looks like her daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I love you so much, Mom. And here, there's somebody that wants to meet you. Are you ready for that? Oh, so cute. <laughs> baby, so baby. Cute. Yeah. You're so cute. Oh. And dad's calling me one sec. I'm gonna decline his. Okay. Yeah, that's your granddaughter, Ella. Wow. So Say hi to grandma, Ella. Hi. Oh. 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 It's weird, like, not having her in me. Mm -hmm. But it's the greatest feeling having her on me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, Ella, you gave me the biggest scare of my life, baby girl. <laughs> I just love her so much, baby. If they only knew the way we feel, this would all go away. Hi, Ella. Hi, Dad.
Say hi. hi Say hi to your daddy. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> Find a place where we can finally breathe and just act like ourselves.